What is up guys? It is Pokey Player here. I know it has been a long time, but I'm back now. My videos are now way better, so it's better content for viewers like you. Now, before we get into this video, please subscribe and leave a like down below. Also, please go check out my other videos. Thank you. Today's video is about how to buff up and actually be able to use a cast form. I stumbled upon this by accident, to be honest. I used one through my whole playthrough of Omega Ruby. I will be giving you guys specifics so you can use one too. Now, cast form for many years has been looked down upon by the Pokemon community for its weakness and its shapes that are in front of its head that people think are nasty objects. Now, today I'll be standing up for cast form and show that it can be strong. Now, on my journey through Hoenn, the cast form I used only fainted once through the whole game. The stats that cast form has are complete garbage, but somehow it happened, and I even used this cast form a lot in battle. Let's start with the moveset you should teach your cast form. For its four moves, you should have Rain Dance, Sunny Day, Hail, and Weather Ball. Now, Weather Ball is 100% accurate and has a 50 base power, but in weather condition, the power doubles and now becomes the 100 base power move. Now, people don't really know that, but it, it does instead of 50 because it's in a weather condition. This is like using a ground type and using Earthquake. This is super OP now because of the other moves. With the signature ability forecast the cast form has, it transforms the type of with the weather. So if I needed a water type, I would send in cast form and use rain dance so I become a water type, then the next turn use weather ball because weather ball changes the type according to the weathers too, so it makes it a hundred base power water type move. I have O-Code oh so many things with this and this goes for the other weathers like hail for an ice type and sunny day for a fire type. This moveset makes this Pokemon three types that you can have on your team and have an 100 base power stab attack which is insane. Like I said it's kind of like a ground type with earthquake. Now on the nature you need for your cast form. The cast form I had had a lax nature. This increased its defense but lowered its special defense. Now this isn't the best nature that it could have but obviously it worked well for me. Even though I didn't have this nature I would recommend to have a modest nature. This being it raises its special attack and but lowers its attack. The attack lowering doesn't matter because the one attacking move you have is a special attacking move which would be boosted. Now for a held item I made mine hold a mystic water. This increased its water type attack when I used cast form as a water type. Now you could also use a fire boosting item like charcoal or an ice boosting item like never melt ice to increase those type attack when cast form is a fire or ice type. In my opinion cast form is a very good Pokemon. Cast form is very well designed and I do love the weather design concept. And the question of the day is, what weak Pokemon do you think could actually be strong if you used it in the right way? Tell me down in the comments below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope it makes you want to prove others wrong about weak Pokemon. Now, have a great rest of your day, if it is sunny, raining, or even hailing outside. And until next time, see ya.